What's up, y'all? DHR2 Productions back with another video, and this is going to be a review of Transformers War of a Cybertron. Had mixed feelings on this entire season, and there's a reason why I'm not liking this series, and it has a lot to do with some of the moments that were iffy, hit or misses here and there we're gonna get to the pros first what i do like about this series is the the action the action is nice and fluid and it feels like you're watching a anime version of the bumblebee movie when it came to the first scene in that film when the autobots and the decepticons are battling out and animation looks great I love the anime style. I like how it was drawn from certain areas and the color sprite looks really awesome. And I just like the fact that they took they took a they took a franchise and turned it into something that looks gorgeous in anime style when it came to the color sprite and I do like the overall designs of each Autobot and Decepticons. Some of them are good and some of them are just meh. And the music itself is really good. And it's like each time when there's a high stakes, you know you want to tune in for a different episode or next episode. And now we're going to get into some cons. The voice acting sucks. Because as it's if every time you they do a scene with Optimus Prime and Alita, Alita is one character that I hate the most because each time when Optimus Prime comes up with a plan, she always doubts him. But into the last episode, she's like, You have your mission to fight, I got mine to finish. How about acknowledging of him retrieving the all sparks but in the last episode before that she was like there is hope after all but the last four episodes you were the one that were down on him like crazy not believing the fact that he has a plan but Megatron's designs I hate it lips look like something that you see from Playboy movie or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like anime movies has just hit some misses when it comes to the facial features. In terms of lip wise, they gave Megatron the ugliest face I've ever seen when it comes to the mouth. They could have kept the simple mouth like how some of the Autobots look instead of giving him the lips. I don't know whose idea was it but I, I was just not feeling Megatron but I did like how he was evil and menacing it kind of reminds me of the Undertaker's Ministry of Darkness days I kind of felt like Bumblebee in the beginning of the series he was he was like he didn't want nothing to do with it with Optimus Prime and them like he has his own thing He's his, he's his own one man army, and and a few episodes later, once he retrieved the all sparks, and then once Megatron's Megatron kills um, his brother. God, like I forgot what, what was his name. It's not a surprise. Ultra Magnus. Yeah, Ultra Magnus. He tries to not tell Megatron where the all spark is was located but it just seems like Megatron just be liberate the guy so he's done and then we get to the biggest con I have the most with this season is the finale I felt like they did all this chasing for all sparks for nothing just to have everything go back to normal still but I want to know if the Autobots make it to the ship or not 
That's what I want to figure out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And then they show something about intruder alert, intruder alert on their shelf. But I didn't see Optimus Prime in them in it. And then we see them, we see Optimus Prime in them get inside the ship. So you should know they they basically made it themselves. But Optimus Prime himself, I feel like they made him out to be the weakest leak in this season. He's supposed to be the leader with a plan, try to solve problems, but instead, you I feel like he just became the weakest character, and I really don't know why they decided to make him the weakest one, because in past seasons and shows and movies, he was the legit leader, but in this series, why would they want to make him the weakest leader? I'm sorry, but this is not good, man. I hate it. Especially when him and Alita get into a disagreement. Alita, she was the one that was giving him mixed signals of self-doubt without even trusting him. Oh my god, I'm kidding me. Then you got some Autobots. I mean, well, you got some Decepticons wanted to join the Autobots to stop Megatron from going down the deep road. Just a mess. This season suck. This whole show as a whole suck. I'm gonna give this season a D minus because there were so many missteps that they've done and it could have been better. And I kind of felt like they dropped the ball on the voice acting. And so many characters spoke very slowly, especially Megatron and Ultra Madness. I cannot let you. I'm like, dude, can you just talk fast a little bit? That's the one thing I really hate about this season or the show in general is the voice acting. Speaking slow and Optimus Prime, the weakest, the weakest link in the finale itself. Like I said, I do like some of the moments. I do like some of the stuff they've done. The animation looks nice. Uh, the visual effects looks good. The music itself looks nice. The action is good. Everything else sucks. So, yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions on this. This show. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you see on Netflix? Did you enjoy the series itself? Let me know. I'll see you later.